Celebrating Black History Month. More than 50 years after the Jim Crow era, black professionals are still becoming the first in some fields to hold a leadership title. WPTV News Channel 5's Sabir Rayford introduces us to a Riviera Beach native who's breaking barriers in the legal field. This garden in Riviera Beach represents growth. It is set up for everybody. Named for Coy James and Mary Herring. For their children, the message is clear. Regardless of where you grow up, it's what you have within you and what you're being taught. Jalinda Herring, the baby of the family, is proof of that. I am the chief executive officer, CEO, and managing shareholder of Bryant Miller Olive Law Firm. The first black person to hold that title in the company's 50 year history. We have um, five offices in Florida, Atlanta, and DC. So managing those offices, managing the attorneys, and responsible for the strategic direction of the firm, where we're going. It doesn't stop there. I am the first African-American female um, that does public finance in the state of Florida. She says her parents paved the way. My parents um, owned a construction company, which gave me a lot of opportunities and my family was um, also into politics and very active in the community, which I think spurred my activism as well. Working in public finance law, Jolinda helps local governments finance projects. She says more diverse representation can be a small step towards fixing broken systems. Being able to understand what's happening in your community, being able to have a voice before it happens, not being reactive, but being proactive. Reporting in Riviera Beach, Sabir Rayford, WPTV News Channel 5.